Hello there everyone, Ashen Flash here and welcome on in to another update on Fortnite X Lego. And I've been saying that from the start, okay, Fortnite X Lego, that's been in the thumbnails and I think that it's important that we talk about that. And I've been saying that and I've been thinking that it would be something of course in Fortnite. I've never thought that we would get a Lego set, I've never said that we would. It would be nice if we did, it would make sense, obviously, and I don't think that, you know, we've talked about this before, you could check out the other videos about this. But today, for the first time, we have proof on Fortnite's end that something, some form of collaboration is gonna be happening. And I've been very uh, cautious about making this video because I see the uh, dislike and disdain for me talking about this as well as uh, I see the sub count go down when I'm talking about Fortnite but at the end of the day it's three videos now out of 365 days of content so if you don't want to watch a video maybe just don't click on it but hey leave a dislike if you'd like to it's fine it actually helps and when you complain in the comments it also helps the YouTube algorithm suggest the video even more so Keep giving this thing some traction because it's getting around. I've seen some land members talk about it. I've seen, uh, we've got some other articles and things like that reporting on it from the LEGO community. Mike, I just need to get this out into the Fortnite community. Now, we have some proof here on Fortnite's end that some form of collaboration is going to be happening. So, just to go over before we get to that, we're going to go over everything that we've had so far. In the video trailer for LLAMAs, that's right. They have actually created an artist, a real life artist. They just dropped their single on the 19th. And in that music video, as well as the trailer, there is very clearly a pinata, a llama pinata, that looks very, very similar to a Fortnite one. The color scheme, the legs are blue, the feet are black, and again, just the color scheme in general. And then there is like the white googly eye, like that to me, and even the black or dark brown, depending on, you know, what toy or whatever you're looking at for Fortnite, that to me looks just like it. The only thing that's missing is the little part in the back that of course has like the little arrow or the chest sometimes, whatever it is, uh, symbol. But specifically, so that's that's Exhibit A, we'll call it. Exhibit B actually comes from LLAMA's website. And on that website, it has an About Me section. And all the way down to the bottom of the page, and, it, and the exact line from that is at home schooling you from the couch in Battle Royale. So to me, that's a very clear cut reference pairing that with the llama from the video. I think that to me, it's clearly a reference to Fortnite, whether or not it comes true or not on their end it was up for debate. And even some people were saying that it's just a fun little thing that was added for kids. No kid is going onto social media, clicking the bio of the Instagram and then reading through paragraphs worth of content only to get to the bottom and see, Whoa, no way, LLAMA also likes playing battle royales? That's so cool. That That's not happening. Like this is a deliberate reference here, a deliberate tease or an Easter egg or something in here. So that is from Lego and Universal's end of things, teasing some sort of collaboration, I would say, with Fortnite. And if you don't like Fortnite, you know, you could call it dead game when it's clearly not still top game on trending every single day, as well as still has hundreds of thousands of viewers each and every day on Twitch and YouTube, as well as still millions of players playing each day. So not a dead game. You can have your opinion about it, thinking it's a dead game, but factually, I'm not, this is my opinion. This is facts. So anyways, now we got that out of the way because I didn't mention it last video and people decided to keep commenting it. When it comes to Fortnite, there's no denying some of the things that they've done. It is one of the craziest games in terms of crossovers. And this season has just been the craziest when it comes to collaborations. Nothing has really been off the table so far for Fortnite. They have partnered with so many things this season. With Marvel skins, DC skins, The Terminator, Predator, Street Fighter is coming out this week. Like literally nothing has been off the table here with this season and collaborations. So if you're unfamiliar with Fortnite, just have that in your head of no collaboration is off the table. They even partner with G.I. Joe. So technically another toy company or show, whatever you want to call it. So just have that in your mind going forward while I say this. In the files, as of today, this was discovered by leakers from Fortnite. There is a skin in the file. It is tiled legend. Now the way that it's spelled is with an LL, just like llama, as well as a Lambro. Now I'm thinking that's going to be like some sort of Lamborghini that's llama themed, as well as the puffcorn pickaxe. So that pickaxe could be some sort of form of the other 
beatbox character, the unicorn. So who knows? Maybe that's what that could be referring to. Also, this past week, there was also an addition to the game where they had some other inflatable llamas popping up around the map. So that could just be referencing this llama skin that is to come. Now, the reason that I bring this up as proof that something is happening with video or universal in Lego with Fortnite is because we have all those stuff from Lego. Now we have this skin in the files from Fortnite that is llama based. And the theory right now is that that is actually going to be the skin for the Fortnite crew pack. If you don't know what the Fortnite crew pack is, it's a monthly subscription that gives you access to brand new exclusive skins that are only available right now through this membership. The first one that we got when it first launched was an original skin. The second skin that we got in January was Green Arrow. The third skin that we got for February was a brand new skin that they designed themselves. And then to me, it would make sense if they continued this pattern of original skin, collaboration, original skin, collaboration. So what's up next? It would be another collaboration. And since it is llama themed, I'm going to assume and put that together with the stuff from Lego with this being in the files. And I'm going to say that there's going to be a LL AMA skin in Fortnite. And what else is releasing on March the 1st? None other than Lego video. Call me crazy. Call me whatever you want. I have been being pinged and and added that and just messaged about this non-stop so i had to address it to me now that we have something from fortnite's end of things that's proof that some sort of llama skin is happening again pairing that with the other stuff i just can't see this not happening and if you want to check out the other videos we do talk about some other just small connections that would sort of just link and further cement that this collaboration could happen and just to address one of the arguments that i've been seeing from some people is that people in the know have been saying that people who know stuff about the future of Lego have been saying that Fortnite and Lego is not happening and also that Fortnite and Lego have nothing in common. So about those two things, I have two perfect examples of why both of those are not good reasons to say Fortnite x Lego is not happening. Number one, again, not saying Lego sets are happening. I'm saying there's going to be a collaboration with Fortnite. I, well, I think that it's going to be a skin now, but another idea was that his single would appear on the car radio, which I definitely think if the skin is added to Fortnite, that that single shake would definitely be here. And also to go back to those points of why it's not going to happen, any collaboration with Lego doesn't have a connection until it does. Lego had no connection with Nintendo until Super Mario happened. Lego had no connection with Overwatch before it happened. Same thing with Trolls. A ton of other IPs. That doesn't make sense. It's one of the weakest reasons why this would never happen. And what did all of those things have in common, by the way? No one leaked that Mario was happening. No one leaked that overwatch was happening no one leaked that trolls was happening all of those things were revealed by lego no one knew that they were happening before they actually happened so that excuse doesn't make any sense so call me crazy call me whatever you want you can unsubscribe this is the third video that i'm doing out of 365 days when a lot of times we do more than one video a day as well so hey if that upsets you and you don't want to stay subscribed for the content anymore that's that's fine adios three videos but what do you think of this latest news the latest proof i'm very curious to hear your guys thoughts about this again the fact that i've been being messaged about this all day to me proves that there's a lot of people excited and wanting this you might not want it it probably won't affect you because i don't think sets are coming so also you don't have to watch a video about fortnite if you've made it this long in and and, and i also thought of something else okay right here. listen 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 come here come here i've got a great idea now the spelling of legend is ll how do they say that in the Ninjago movie? Lloyd. What's the lyric from the song from the Lego Ninjago movie? Lloyd, the legend of the ninja lives. And what else is the back bling? What else is from the Ninjago CMF series but cornflakes? But they didn't say cornflakes. They said puff corn so that we wouldn't be able to pick up that the fact that it was actually cornflakes so that people wouldn't think that it's Tony the Tiger skin coming. So it's actually Ninjago and it's actually going to be a Lloyd skin. Why? Watch. Trust me. Trust me. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> Anyways, everyone, I hope you did enjoy this video and I hope that you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.